faith is an unreasonable conviction which is assumed without evidence. That's why I say that you have faith in atheism. To form a self-reproducing cell from non-living chemicals requires the generation of a large amount of information. A cell must be able to perform many chemical reactions in the right order, place and degree, which requires a number of specific catalysts, enzymes. It must also be able to reproduce the information needed to produce these enzymes. You are convinced your God is real even though there is no evidence to support that. I asked you earlier, what evidence you need befitting God's majesty? The evidence is clear if we examine our body, as every single biological process that takes place in so well guarded manner, is an evidence of God's existence. Quote, Humans, and all animal species, are incredibly engineered machines. Thousands of times more complex and better engineered than any man-made device on the planet. Not only do our electromechanical devices show design, but their inventions, as there was absolutely no prior art models for nature to go by. We have servo motors, muscles that pull on rods, ligaments that in turn move ball and socket, joints, hip, mandible. We have an incredibly complex and efficient pump heart, a pair of digital cameras that produce three-dimensional images, eyes, miniature microphones, ears, and on and on. The greatest engineering group cannot come close to synthesizing the simplest of our organs. The one thing that makes us different from an incredibly engineered robot is life. That we are alive, life separates us from robots, and life is the one thing that separates evolutionists from being able to see intelligence in the universe. If we were functioning and not alive, and were constructed of plastic and metal, and an evolutionist could observe us, he would have to admit that we are the result of an intelligence beyond imagination. The amazing thing is that evolutionists have absolutely no idea how life formed. They are completely unable to duplicate life in the laboratory. Yet they are absolutely certain that there was no intelligence that brought about life and the origin of species. End quote. I am not convinced that any element ever presented as supernatural actually exists. And I have plenty of logical and factual evidence to support my apprehension. So this statement of yours proves that you are blinded by prejudice, not that you have researched well to find that God does not exist. There is no doubt about existence of God if we are sincere seeker of truth, but for a denier, any evidence is not enough. If something requires faith to believe it, then you may as well admit that it cannot be taken on its own merit, and does not deserve serious consideration. People in the world can be divided into two types, in relation to how they look at the world. Some are astonished by the phenomena of this world, its harmony and beauty, and search for its creator, and so they arrive at the conclusion that God exists and they should worship him and obey him while others find themselves free, and do not want to consider anyone's right upon themselves, so they search for the excuses to reject existence of God, and thus try to delude themselves and others with their statements. Quote, Conviction of the reasonableness of theism and the tenuousness of atheism usually in itself does not cause a man to accept practical theism. There seems to be an almost innate suspicion that the recognition of deity will somehow rob one of freedom. To the scholar, who cherishes intellectual liberty, any thought of abridged freedom is specially dreadful. End quote. Thus we get what we search for. The experiment of Suderland that you mentioned about creating self-replicating RNA has a fallacy in it. Read it again. They added phosphate at the end. Why? Does nature segregates phosphate for so long to prevent it from reacting with forming molecules? No. These reactive molecules will soon finish themselves if existed from the beginning. So Suderland added it in the last. While natural pond will have all of them together. But this experiment is good to befool those who want to rest assured that God does not exist. That's why I say you have faith in atheism.